Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the Pesukim of Bitochen. Today is Tehillim Nun He 55, verse 23. And this is a very famous verse in the world of Bitochen. Hashleich al Hashem Yahavacha, cast your burden upon Hashem, throw your load onto the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam. Vahu Yechalka Leka, and He will sustain you. Vayitain la'ila mait la'tzadik, He will never allow the righteous to falter. The simple understanding of this verse is that, that David HaMelech is telling the Jew the following message, and that is that even when there is people that are letting you down, you have enemies that are around you, people that betrayed you, you have nothing to fear in your relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu because He is always there in order to sustain your burden and take care of you and walk you through the difficulties of life. You can always place your trust in the Rebbe Yenish even when you see all around you that it is impossible to trust and rely upon men and women and the people that are there. And therefore, says Rashi, and the Radak also echoes these words, and that is that a Jew has to understand that a person always has the Rebbe Yenish And whatever you need in life, throw it, just literally pick it up and throw it, cast it upon HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hu Yechal Galeka HaKadosh Baruch is going to sustain you and take care of you. But the Dubna Magid says a very beautiful mashal, a parable. He says there was once a weary traveler who was walking down the road and he was carrying a very heavy pack on his back. Suddenly a wagon passes by and he feels sorry for this poor wretched man and he tells him, come, come get into the wagon, I'll take you. And the man is excited, he gets into the wagon, he sits down, he relaxes a little bit, and as they're driving, the wagon driver notices that although the man is sitting on his wagon, he's still holding the heavy load on his back. So the wagon driver turns to the fellow and he says, Sir, you're in the wagon, take the load off and put it down in the back, you don't have to carry it. So the man says to him, he says, look, you've been so kind already. You picked me up off the road. You put me into your wagon. You gave me a place to sit. And you have done so much chesed and kindness to me. I don't want to exploit and take advantage of you. He said, it's enough that you let me onto the wagon. Why should I bother you to carry my heavy load as well? On which the wagon driver looked back at the man. He said, you fool. If I'm carrying you in my wagon and you are carrying the load, then the mela automatically I'm carrying your load as well. So take your load and cast it off. I'm carrying you both as it is, says the Magid, the Dubna Magid. He said, many people think, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you took care of my Parnassah, thank you very much. I'm not going to bother you about the Shidduch, I'm not going to bother you about the health. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I was going through a difficult period in my life and I needed a lot of Yeshua, a lot of salvation. And Baruch Hashem, I casted my burden upon you, Hashem, and you took care of that. But now look, I need to have children, now I need a partner to make a living. I can't bother you about everything. It says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you fool, don't you realize? I'm the Rebbe Nisha'ilam, I'm the master of the universe, I am taking care of everything. Once that I'm taking care of you, take all your burdens and cast them upon me, and you have nothing to worry about. I will sustain you. And that's what we have to realize in the world of Bitochen. Bitochen is not, I only trust in HaKadosh Baruch on those things that I think are, are plausible, are possible. I trust and I rely upon HaKadosh Baruch Hu for everything. He'll take care of the parnasa, he'll take care of the health, he'll take care of the shidduchim, he'll take care of whatever salvation I need. I just take myself, I cast myself and my burden on HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He will sustain us and he will never allow for the righteous and halavai that we should all be considered the tzaddikim, the righteous. He will never allow us to falter. Have a wonderful day.